penultimate round of the FIA World Endurance Championship for 2015 in Shanghai in front of a huge crowd started in wet conditions and behind the safety car and once they were released after 16 minutes the two Porsches from the front row immediately went into battle with each other Mark Leap down the inside of Brendan Hartley watch out for the number one defending world champion Toyota splitting the two Audis earlier on the seven car had already got ahead of the eight by turn number two little hip check from the one to the number eight as that pass was made it was clear that the 18 car was having a little bit of trouble on that first lap and he tried to let his teammate go through in the early part of the lap as the number eight Audi went back into fourth position the number seven was looking for something a little more and there was contact between the Audi and the Porsche leaving the Porsche at the back of the field after they'd all gone through in LMP2, the drama started early as well. On the first lap, Nick Tandy going out backwards into the gravel trap, the Porsche factory driver in the KCMG car, the 47, a championship contending vehicle. Then the conditions took over. And no matter whether you were a prototype, a GT car, a pro or an arm, things got very difficult indeed. Tire choice, absolutely critical. And even with the right tires on, it wasn't always easy to stay on the black stuff as the rebellion and one or two others found out even the local favorite Kaz Nakajima uh, went for a wild ride at the end of the lap and ended up in the gravel trap as the rain continued to fall the battle between the two German marks certainly heated up at the front of the field Audi's playing a very, very aggressive tactical game on tyres. The seven car still in with a chance of the Drivers' Championship, although it looked as though the Manufacturers' Championship was going away and to their German rivals. The pace of the two cars at the head of the field was remarkable. Even in the bad conditions, 300 kilometres an hour down the 1.4 kilometre back straight. Audi and Porsche closely matched in very challenging conditions at Shanghai. Plenty of drama with back markers as well, because the four classes on track at the same time always provide interesting competition. But it was all won and lost in the pit lane. Audi went to the Michelin Intermediates early and also were the first to go to slick tyres. And that looked like it was going to pay off when Porsche, who stayed on the wet tyres longer, started to have issues with grip. Right at the end of the race, the Stracker and the 12 Rebellion finding things just a little bit too difficult, and the race almost having to finish under a full course yellow, but not quite. As far as the winner's concerned, the championship kept alive in GT and with the 83 Porsche winning, the 83 Ferrari winning, the 91 uh, won in GT Pro, a maiden victory this year for Signatech Alpine in LMP2, and at the head of the field, it's another victory for the 17 squad. Mark Webber anchoring home Brendan Hartley and Timo Bernhard to make it four in a row for the 17, and they increase their lead in the Drivers' World Championship. Porsche win the Manufacturers.